Any note this time? No, no, no. Just a picture. Yeah, but it's for Dad. Keep them on. It's just too hot. All right, we'll look around in the morning. Hey, thanks, guys. And Ohio tags. Ohio. Huh. Kept that? Yeah, I'll give it to the ME. That's 10 this month, at least 10. Seems like a lot. I don't know. Yeah, and he said Ohio Plates. I mean, aren't there bridges in Ohio? What? Passing train would have done the trick. Why are they coming here? I guess if they figure if they jump off this bridge, it'll definitely do the trick. Yeah, that's true enough. Let's go check the car out. I will be the last to fall. I won't shed a tear for them to see. to fall Shall we pray? Lord our God, sovereign of the centuries, almighty and all powerful, grant these your servants the boldness and bravery to fight ailments and wickedness, to give way to your goodness. We ask and beseech you to banish from this day forth all spell, black magic, addictions, curses, demonic infestations, oppressions, and possessions. All that is evil and sinful and diabolical, burn all these evils in hell, that they may never appear on this earth from this day forward. By sending these, your angels of peace, guide them and protect them as they protect your children against all that is evil. Lord my God, have mercy on them, cleanse them, and deliver them. Amen. I'm going to get this double with my eyes closed. It's so easy. Let's do it. Look at these old games. Meet the parents. What you got there? Cranium. I don't know why I only played these. What's the point? Ask the good questions for you. I remember at church camp someone talking about how demons come out when you play that game. That's just the thing though, right? It's just a game. You should play it. You should play it at the cemetery. Well, let's do it. I mean, let's do it. Seriously? Yeah, why not? Live a little. Wait, right now? Yeah, why not? I'm gonna walk. They're good. I found her. Right down the Yeah. Well, it's been, uh... Well, I've learned a lot. I can't even imagine. Do you think you're ready? I don't know. I'm still a little confused about what we're going to be doing when we get back. I'm sure you'll know what to do. I can't wait to see you. Me too. Well, I'll pick you up tomorrow. And please be careful. I love you. I love you too. I'm done. I'm talking. Awesome. Love you too. Hey, Dad.
How's vacation? Hmm, that must be nice. Well, we miss you, so come back home soon. Alright, love ya. Bye. I couldn't help but overhear what you were saying. All this training, how will we know? Oh, I'm Stan, by the way. I'm from London. Charlie, Pittsburgh, USA. Oh, yeah, Steelers? Yes, sir. Uh, I think the church is going to give us guidance when we get back home. Maybe, but I've always been curious as to the number of people who will admit that they are demon possessed. <laughs> well, I guess we'll just have to go out and find them then. In my country, there is an absence of religion. Over half of the population doesn't even believe in God. And over 10,000 churches have closed in the last few years. And in that absence, in that void, a darkness has come. A darkness of evil. Unfortunately, America is not too far from that. If you have access to the Italian television, you may want to watch the Cardinal's news report. With reports of demonic possession on the rise around the world, the Vatican is in the midst of training a team of international women and men to fight against this evil. The Reverend Father Vincent explains. Today, we're at a stage crucial in history. Many Christians don't believe in the devil existence. But I assure you, he exists. And he's on the move around the world. And these men and these women behind this door, they will be armed to fight against him. I don't think this is a good idea. It's Dylan. He's probably shouldn't jump out and scare us or something. No, I mean like trying to talk to ghosts. Amy. It's something here. It's just the thing. Okay, so how does this work? What? Did you do that, man? No, 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 no. It, it flew out of my hands. Hey, um, let's go. Yeah, she's wrong. Hold on, I mean, Dylan, hurry up, you idiot. Take this. I'll be right back. What? Nothing. What? Nothing. So, be texting. Dylan and Hayden? Are we ready for? We are going. Back to the cemetery. You saw what happened. Amy, the, the wind moves that piece. Well, I'm not going. And I'm texting Katie, and she's not going either. So you boys have fun. Hey, Doc. Yes. Excuse me. Oh. Yes. That new jumper, did you run a tox report yet? No. Was she, you know, healthy? Well, I have her medical records right here. 45-year-old uh, female, and um, she was healthy. Why? Are you seeing more of these than you know, these jumpers? Well, I don't know why. Something about that bridge. Well, it's one of America's tallest bridges, so it's a, a magnet for the mentally unstable. What's your point? Come on, let's go. I don't have a point. It's just that we're on that bridge and under that bridge a lot. You're new here, aren't you? Yeah. Well, that bridge is a big deal to the state. Leave it alone. Will you tell him? You know better than this.
Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. So good to see oh, you. Oh, it's good to see you. How was Italy? Hey, it was okay. Blue vino. So yeah, it was pretty great. Oh, you need some luggage? Yes, that'd be great. Thank you. There's my little cutie pie. I love my sign. Is this you guys? Did you make mine? I trust he had a good trip. He did. Thank you. Right. So, right. Yes. Ah. Thank you. Yes. You know, the Archbishop got a call from Cardinal Dolan. He spoke very highly of you. In fact, he said you're one of the best in the class. You know, they showed us a real exorcism. They had this guy, he was just full of demons. It was nothing like I thought it would be. <laughs> not like the movies? No, no, it was not like the movies. <laughs> but they talked about possession, about how people allow life's burdens, depression, maybe addiction, to open these portals for demonic entry. About how kids, abused kids, are open to these possessions. It makes me sick. I mean, that's why Judy and I foster these kids to begin with. Well, and that's why you're the right man for the job. Congratulations. You've earned it. Thank you, Father. It's beautiful. Thank you. Well, I think I'm going to call it an evening. You need to get some rest, too. I do. Tell your family good night for me. to fall I won't shed a tear for them to see Catherine Bewick, 1904-1980, loved by all bad guys. All right. So, uh, who wants to put that piece on the thing? You. What are you supposed to do? Well, you're supposed to, we're supposed to put our fingers on it and ask a question. Is somebody there? You, you doing that, man? No. If you're really there, make, make yourself known. What is your name?
Top 10 suicide bridges. Our bridge isn't even on the list. Golden Gate Bridge, 30 last year. We've already had 30 in the last two months, at least 30. What is this obsession? Why are people coming here killing themselves? Huh? Sean Dawson. You gotta be kidding me. I can't run to court every time she wants to have a fight over her son. All right, all right, just email me the information. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Turner. Hey, is BG in? Yes, she's at her station. Thank you, brother. I heard you were in the building, Charles. Good to see you. Yeah, I can't stay away. Partners for 15 years, I fear it's swing by. How's Judy and the kids? Oh, they're great. Just great. Thanks. What's going on? <clears throat> well, I was hoping to have a quick word. Yeah, yeah. What's up? This might sound a little bizarre, but I've taken a job with the church and... Security? Not exactly. What do you know about demonic possession? Not much. Well, recently I've become convinced that evil spirits dwell in people. That without realizing it, people allow these spirits to come into their bodies, their souls, if you will, and possess them. And the church has hired me to go out and find these people and cast out their evil. Wow. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I was just thinking about a guy I arrested last year for burglary or something. And uh, I remember him saying, the devil made me do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, how are you going to go about finding these? Yeah, I don't know. But I was hoping maybe you could help me out. Just keep your eyes open, ears open. Anything that... Seems mystical, supernatural. I will. If something like that happens, I'll give you a call. Thank you, BJ. Yeah. You take care of yourself, Charlie. Okay. It's not my fault she took him across the country. She's the one who took him there. I, I can't move to Oregon. She wants more money. Of course she does. You know. I don't when... want to talk about it. Hey, that's him. Who? The, the husband of the woman, the jumper. From the picture, that's him. Sean, leave him alone. Leave him alone. Excuse me. I'm sorry if this comes out wrong, but are you related to the... the lady who jumped? I am. My partner and I were the first on the scene. I am, I'm so sorry, I'm so, so sorry. May I ask you a question? What was she doing here? I mean, why did she come all the way here? Last year, she had knee surgery. 
she got on those painkillers, she was never the same. I get up. I'm so sorry. Just wish I'd done more. For your next trick, make your food disappear. No, give me my wand. No. Eat your food. It's just a magic trick. I'll eat later. I'm busy mm -hmm. right now. So, um, I signed up for a Bible study thing. Can I have some people over? Hello. It's on James. Sure. James 4 7. We can be there. Yeah, I know that church. I'll see you. Dad, Bible study? Sure, you would have. It's, it's okay. How is that okay? It's this new job. We need to be supportive. Carson, eat your food. I am eating. No, you're not. Eat your food. Do you want me to choke? Take your stupid thing and eat. Thanks. Come on, girl. Have a nice dinner. Oh, yeah, it's real nice. He's already going. Tommy, get the groceries out of the car, please. Tommy. Groceries. Car. Let's go. Got things to do. Tommy. What? Car. Groceries. Now. Are you feeling okay? What's wrong with you? Are you feeling all right? What's wrong? Tommy, come talk to me. Mom's pissing me off. What's going on? What was about last night? Nothing happened! It was just a game! Hey, you see that new uh, video Trey posted? Totally crucifies the football team. Uh, uh, where are you going, dude? Uh... Devil music. 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 Devil music.
Kids are just kids. They make mistakes. If this, if this, we can guide their behavior. We can train them. Well done. Well done. If this had been evil, too evil, who would have consumed this boy? Would have morphed him into something uncontrollable. Something so horrific. Something only could have come from hell. Hell? Hell, you hell, say? You say my boy's from hell? Hey, Sean, is that you? Yes, sir. Hey, what are you doing? Do you know that 51 people committed suicide off this bridge already this year? I knew it was a lot, but I didn't know it was that many. Say, I just got a call about a man on the bridge. I'm guessing that's you. So, what are you doing? I'm trying to find jumpers before they jump. Seriously, Sean, what's going on? So you're going to tell me that you're going to walk up and down this bridge all night, every night? I got to do something. Well, you do what you got to do, but be safe, because I don't want to be picking you up from down there, all right? All right, buddy. Be safe, all right? See this hopelessness? It creates a vacuum. And sometimes that vacuum attracts evil. Let me show you. This man is clearly dangerous. Call the police. We can't call the police. If they do, they'll close the shelter down for the evening and, well, <laughs> these people would have nowhere to go. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to flee. You know the Messiah. I know the one true God. I know him too. But then you know he has the power over you. For life, not death. He defeated death. And he will defeat you. He will never defeat me. Behold, the word of the Lord. The lion of the tribe of Judah. The offspring of David hath conquered. May the Lord descend upon you and drive you away, whomever you may be. All unclean spirits, all satanic powers, all wicked legions. Most kind servant, you shall no longer dare to deceive this man or torment God's elect. Be gone. In the name and by the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Your name. 
Missing your father, huh? Yeah, I get that. Hey, listen, um, I know I'm not your father. And I would never try to replace your father. Judy and I wanted you to have this. As long as you wear that, you know you have a father in heaven who loves you and will always protect you. And I know you're a teenager, so be careful with that stuff. Bridge! I feel stupid blowing up his phone. I haven't heard from any of them. Hello? No, ma'am. I'll try to get a hold of him. I'm sure he's okay. Yeah, bye. Oh, it's Tommy's mom. She can't find him. Let's go. I'm sure he's all right. Did you call all of his friends? We'll start praying. Okay. If you don't hear anything in an hour or so, we'll come over. No, we'll come over. Okay. I love you. Bye. What's that? Mommy didn't come home tonight. You know, Heather said he's been acting out. He needs stuff, maybe. Dear gracious Heavenly Father, I come to you together, I ask you to look over your son Tommy. We don't know where he is. We don't know what he's doing, but we know you do. We would ask that you would be with him, keep him safe, use us whatever way necessary. Use us. Thank you. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
Why are we out here again? I can take you back to squad. No. Hey, listen to this. When we think of suicide, we usually think of it as a sudden act. We rarely regard it as a slow demise. This form of suicide is often caused by depression, trauma, or suffering from outsourced evil. Outsourced evil, what do you think that means? Looky there. Where'd he come from? Is he alone? I don't know. Not at home. His mom said he hasn't been home all day. Yeah. We saw him earlier today. Major jerk. I mean. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Second jumper this week. We don't even have a body. But you you, you saw this happen. You, you called all this in. Yes, yes we did. All right, and you just happened to be on the bridge. Okay, what I'm trying this to... This is how rumors get started. Speculation. I, 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 I just can't even believe this. Right? All right. I'll be talking to you soon. Listen, I know he's your nephew, and his dad died, but you're retired. Roger that. I mean it. Listen, it's probably just a runaway. He had a fight with his mom. These boys were the last to see him around noon, say they don't know anything. I know this kid, BG. He's not a runaway. I just sent two officers to the mall. I'm going to check all the regular spots. Dylan. Come. What were you doing? Well, we played this game. Um, it was it was pretty fun, I guess, but went sour in the end. What game? Um, uh, Ouija board. I was a detective for 15 years. This is what I know. People who know something always hang around. So what do you know, though? I, I said, I, I, I don't know, I mean, Son, how do you feel? It's sad about Tommy, I guess, but... No. See, what I figure is you open some kind of door. You feel tired, nauseous? N not at all. Go home. If anything happens, anything weird, give me a call.
What happened to you? Nothing. You went back, didn't you? You went looking for him. I know what I saw. You saw it too. By the time I got there, no one was there. Yeah, because he jumped. Sean, you gotta quit doing this to yourself. You're losing it. There's gotta be a simple explanation for all this. You can't keep doing this to yourself. Get cleaned up and get some rest. What is it? Mom? Aiden? What is going on? Are you having dreams? Yes. So, what did we do? I don't, I don't know what you mean. What, what did we do? Tommy's dead, isn't he? What? Why, why would you say that? No, no, he's not. Why would you say that? No, he, he's not dead. No, we let the devil in, and now we're all going to die! die. Surely your god will catch you. Sorry? Are you a fireman? Paramedic. Ah, the savers of life. Do you see a lot of death? Suicides? Sometimes. People say it's a way out. I say it's a way in. Into peace. Into harmony. I don't know about that. Have you ever thought about it? About what? Suicide. That's an odd question. Well, these are odd times. <sighs> That's for sure. Oh, come on. What's the harm in talking about it? I mean, your life, your marriage, your child. It's all falling apart, isn't it? Look, I don't want to be rude, but who are you? Just a lonely soul looking for a little company. But the better question is, who are you, Sean? Okay, this is getting a little weird. How do you know my name? Oh, we know many things. We? We met a long, long time ago. Almost a lifetime. I, I think I would have remembered you. People are funny. They remember the pleasure, but not the pain. Well, I remember the pain, believe me. Well, think about this. If you left this earth tonight, who would really know? Who would really care? If you ask me, Listen, lady, I don't know who you are, but I just want to sit here. You don't? Are you sure? Think real hard. Think back. Think way back. I know who you are. Uh, maybe. Maybe you'll do it right this time, Sean.
Where's Hayden? Uh, I texted him. But, uh, this is the last spot you saw him? Yeah. Right here? Well, actually, we were down by the creek. So show me. So, what's this about opening doors and whatnot? Well, for the most part, we live our lives free from the bother of demons. Okay. Demons? Sure. I mean, we don't fight against flesh and blood, we fight against good and evil. A spiritual realm of beings all around us. Like I said, for the most part, they leave us alone, but if you go looking for them, they can... Hayden? Get your, get your hands up. God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Bible study. Oh, okay. It's just demons. Submit yourselves then to God. Mm. How was Hay? Oh, he's still resting. He's going to be fine. Did you call his mom? Yes, I did. Thank you. They keep drawing this bridge. Hey, when's dinner? Well, we're just going to order pizza. Mm. You gonna jump off a bridge now, Dad? No, why would you say that? It's the bridge. It's bridge day. How do you know about this place? It's like the third highest bridge in the world. It's gorgeous. I mean, you're on top and you can see everything. Where is this bridge? Uh, West Virginia. You all right, Father? Yes, give me just a moment. Ah, here it is. St. Matthew chapter 4. This is the only time that Satan appears before Jesus that we know of. And Satan tempts Jesus, but Jesus denies all temptation. So, Satan takes him to a high mountain, much like your bridge, and he tempts him by promising him control of all the domains but he must fall to the earth and allow his angels to catch him. And if there are demons, then there are going to be angels. Right. And we need some of those angels. I believe that Satan is controlling these vulnerable people to fall from this bridge. Like the fallen man. Ooh, okay, that's some um, deep stuff there, Dad. You know... Satan may be tempting these people much in the same way that he tempted Jesus. Go away! It wasn't me! James 4, 7. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. We live in a very spiritual world. It's not rocket science. And you have been making them mad. But... God gave you the authority. Don't ever forget that. What? Who is it? It's me, Linda. I brought food. Ah. Uh, okay, wait a minute. You okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just, I'm just doing some stuff. How did you know I was here? Down at the station, they told me. You look rough. So, you gonna let me in? I brought your favorite, pizza. Are you alone? Um, yeah. All right, it's a mess, but come on in. Wow, you've been busy. What is all this? 
Oh, it's just some uh, some, some work I'm, I'm catching up on. I'm trying to keep my mind busy, you know, with the, the wife and the kids. Yeah, how's that? Oh, <laughs> now she wants to... Um, I don't want to talk about it. Sean, you can't keep it all bottled up. It'll drive you crazy. <laughs> Come on, sit down. Let me show you something. All right, look, all these people, uh, what do they have in common? They're strangers. They're not from around here. Men, w women, children, they're, they're all here for the same reason, to end their life. But why here? Why that bridge? I don't know. It could be a coincidence. Yeah, that's what a normal person would say. That's what the medical examiner said. I think there's more to it than that. Go on. All right, well, you're gonna think I'm crazy, but I'm gonna tell you something I never told anybody, not even my wife. When I was a kid, about 10 or 11, I guess, I went into my father's room. He, he wasn't home and uh, I found some money, some coins. I went to candy store. Yeah, licorice, gumdrops, taffy, I, I was in heaven. And then my dad came home and he found that the money was missing. I guess they were some kind of rare collectible coins. My dad threw a fit. I don't know, it was all kind of a blur, but he hit me. That's the only time he ever hit me in his life. I ran out of the house crying. And I just ran and I ran until I couldn't go any farther. I felt like such a disappointment, you know, a loser. Well, I ended up at a bridge, that bridge. I don't know what got into me, but I, I just wanted to end my life. I climbed up on that railing and I prayed and I prayed to God to, to end my life. I closed my eyes and I jumped. I don't know what happened, but I opened my eyes and I was back in my father's room looking at the coins. It's like I got a second chance. Like God caught me, saved me and gave me a second chance. I think this saved me. And I think all these people are here for the same reason. A second chance. So why here? Why this bridge? I don't know. Satan next took Jesus to a high mountain, where he showed the Savior the kingdoms of the earth and promised him power and glory over all the nations, if he would just worship him. Satan, seeing that he had not succeeded up to this point, finally takes the Savior to the beautiful city of Jerusalem, to the pinnacle of the temple, tempting him to cast himself down to be miraculously saved. Thus, Jesus casting himself down to the busy street below and then being carried up by the angels to once again overcome Satan. Jesus quotes from Deuteronomy. It is said, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. After seeing that he could not tempt the Satan and that he had lost, Satan left. Charlie! Charlie! What's going on? I don't know. What's that? Hayden, Hayden, Hayden. Can you hear me? I can hear you. We all. 
How many are in there with you? We are going. Is Tommy in there? <laughs> Tommy had to go. Go. Go where? I have to go. Where do you have to go? You know where. Where we all must go. The bridge. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, evil spirit, I cast you out. Be gone, evil one. Your hold over this man is broken. This possession is now over. In the name of Jesus Yeshua, be gone. Charlie? Oh, yeah. Hey, how's he doing? Uh, he's doing better. Um, he's resting. The kids are with him. Good. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah, here it is. This is what I was looking for. <clears throat> the Devil's Bridge. Although commonly noted as folklore, the Devil's Bridge is known to be the gateway to the afterlife and netherworld. Thousands of these such bridges exist across the world. The legend states that a strange woman appears and tempts them to leap off the bridge as a test. Souls which are tormented or in pain are lured to these bridges as an offering of atonement. Souls that are pure may be saved by what some call angels or guardians that catch them, while impure souls will fall to their death. A true leap of faith. Tommy? They caught me. What's up, man? It's all right. Hey. I'm a paramedic. It's all right. I'm a paramedic. I'm just... I was in the area, and I, I saw you coming across the bridge tonight. It's uh, pretty wet and... Dangerous out there, you alright? Yeah, I'm fine, man. I'm yeah? Fine. Yeah. You plan on staying in here tonight? I, um, I don't really have anywhere else to go. I got a great idea. My church isn't far from here. They have a soup kitchen. Mm -hmm. Those ladies can cook. Look like you wouldn't believe. I, I appreciate it, man. That's not really nice thing. You know? I yeah. don't. But they got a couple of beds there, you can say. I got a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. I know all about that. Trust me. I used to spend a lot of time on that bridge. You know what I'm saying? Pastor down at that church, he's a great guy to talk to, but he's even better at listening. They're right there. Just go see them. Give it a try. Thank you. Take care. Cheers. Excuse me, sir. Are, are you the uh, chaplain here? Oh, uh, well, I'm, I'm the pastor. Well, my, my friend, that um, he, um, uh, I, I don't really know. <laughs> well, why don't you come over here, friend, and we'll talk. Quite a view, isn't it? What? It's like you can see the whole world up here. I'm sorry, I'm Sean. I come up here sometimes to clear my head. Leave me alone. Okay, sorry, I just thought maybe... Thought what? That I was gonna jump? I know who you are. You do? Yeah, you're the guy from the news, the bridge watcher, the one who thinks he can save everyone. And what makes you think I need saving? Well, I, I didn't... Well, I don't. I don't need your help. I don't need anyone's help. No one can help me. Yeah, that's what I thought once, when I needed help. Right on the same bridge. Someone help me. Yeah, well, you're not me. No, I'm not. Then what makes you think I need help? 
because you're here. I will be the last to fall. I won't shed a tear for them to see.